channel. Today's video, I am going to be showing you my nursing journey, my nursing stuff, and everything else. Obviously, this is not my area. I'm actually in a hotel for a couple of hours, so um, it's been such a blast. I'm very, very relaxed, obviously. And um, yeah, let's get started. Just for information, I am a nurse. I am a registered nurse here in New York. I am currently working as an OR nurse. My college, my studies were not here. Um, I was born here, but um, my college was from, or my studies were from the Philippines. And we'll explain more about that. But this is just an introduction. If you're very concerned, or if you have an idea, this is an idea if you wanna pursue nursing, then stick to this video because it's mostly about like your beginning or the start of why you want to do nursing school so i will explain my story and i hope this gives you guys an idea um hopefully it inspires you more to continue nursing if you ever want to do nursing and yeah let's just let's just start <laughs> background is I did my college and I did my nursing school in the Philippines um, for about five years um, and then I moved back to the States did a full year of studying for the NCLEX once I did get my NCLEX and my license to pursue my nursing here in New York I now speed up to now I am two years now in the OR so that's like my nursing career so far. Hopefully in the near future, I get to do my master's because I, for myself, I don't believe that I wanna do OR for the rest of my life. But again, I don't know yet. Um, I'm just letting um, a day by day pass and um, we'll see how the future goes. Why do you want to do nursing? For my answer, it has a lot of reasons why I wanted to do nursing. One of the one of the main things, which is especially for Filipinos, all their when parents have their kids, all they want is for you to be in the medical field, like nursing or doctor or just something in the medical field, basically. But entirely, it's mostly being a nurse. I have a bunch of friends and classmates who just did nursing because because their parents told them to or it's their long dream of their daughter or son or their child to be a nurse for my situation um my parents were both nurses and i was just very very you know it was such a nursing family um my my titas or basically aunts and uncles they were all nurses my cousins were in nursing school so it was a lot of medical stuff in the family and um and i don't know why ever since i was a little kid i've been saying i want to be a nurse i want to be a nurse and one of the reasons why i wanted to be a nurse when i was little was because i wanted to take care of people um that was the main idea taking care of people as i grew up as i went to high school it was still now it was like really really close to the decision that do i go to nursing school do i really want to become a nurse and it's not just taking care of patients or other stuff so we went to so we went to like different um expos we went to different um we went to different expos expositions about nursing about nursing career and the main one i wanted to go to was I had a choice actually. I had a choice in high school because it was either I go to nursing school in the States, be reunited with my family, or I do the nursing school that my parents went to in the Philippines, which is the University of Santo Tomas. It is what well, it is the best or known as the best nursing school in the Philippines. So that was my decision. To be honest, during that time I didn't know if I wanted to become a nurse. What actually led me to it was when I started volunteering during the summer in the States. I did volunteer work in the hospitals 
in New York um, during my summer and I oh my gosh I loved every minute I loved every minute of it. When I meant loved every minute of it, I meant that I would do it every day. I didn't care if I was tired. That's how much I love going to the hospital. That's how much I love taking care of patients. I literally will not take a break. I would just stay in the, I would just work every day. And, and for me, that was my life already. I like, I was completely sold by the idea of me working in the hospital seeing patients seeing different situations every day that like really pushed me to do nursing and then another thing was the volunteer work was also where my parents work so i really got to see an in-depth of how my parents um, work as nurses and i just saw like how how good they were like they knew the knowledge they knew the knowledge about the anatomy physiology they knew about what this patient was happening how this patient is going to react um and like with conviction and with confidence they would literally just say hey you're going to be okay we're going to take good care of you my name is edmundo i am your nurse it was just and it felt so when i when you hear that it just felt so assured that you are safe in the hospital and that i saw the patients like they feel safe when they're with their nurses and i was like oh my gosh i wanna i was like oh my gosh i want to do that i want to have that kind of impact to my patients honestly the hospital is a very very scary area <laughs> it's a very very anxious scary area because you don't know what happens in, in the hospital every time you come in and out of the hospital you don't know what to expect when you're inside so it's like you want to have that little hope in you and i believe that hope is like the nurses and the medical team so like i want to do that and just looking at my dad looking at my mom and then i was like shucks i want to do this like legit in my mind and in my heart i was like i want to do this for the rest of my life basically I chose nursing because it's something that I want to do for the rest of my life. And that's with every career. You need to, when you find a, when you go to college, you need to know what you want and what you want and what you want to do for the rest of your life. Because this will be your thing, again, for the rest of your life. You will be coming in and out of this area. You will be doing the same thing over and over again for the rest of your life. And I think nursing was good because it's not redundant. You always get to experience something new every day. You always get to experience a new adventure. You always get to have a new learning every day. Um, I think that's with every career that you get to experience something different. If I went to different um, careers in life and I see that nursing is definitely the one for me. Um, I went to retail, I went to medical assistant, nursing aid, and then nursing. So nursing is really and it's such a big responsibility that's why you have this much energy this much adrenaline and this much motivation to really do your best as a nurse because you are taking care of one's life not just one but like a lot of lives in the day if i can tell someone re with regards to nursing if you want to do nursing think about that you're act think about when you do nursing nursing is stepping into someone else's shoes it's legit empathy when you come inside the hospital you're not thinking about yourself honestly i don't think you are thinking about yourself there's like a little like five percent that you are thinking about yourself but it's mostly about patience your entire mind heart and body is completely towards your patient i think that's what you have to understand when you do nursing especially nursing school it's a big responsibility because you that your focus is on the patient you need to know everything about your patient you need to know everything about a human body <laughs> so it is a lot it is a responsibility and i'm not gonna lie it's not easy <laughs> you will you will stumble you will fall but you know if you have that much conviction in yourself that you want to do nursing then go for it i believe a lot of people can do nursing. Some people I see no, because some people I don't see that they can do nursing for the sake that they don't have that much patience. Because aside from you taking care of your patient, you have other um, co-workers that are from you. You have the doctors, you have the pharmac pharmacy, you have the blood bank, you have chemistry, a lot of collaboration. 
and you need to have that much patience in yourself <laughs> even though you are stump even though you are stumbling even though you are in pain even though oh my gosh even i just had an experience on my birthday it was, it's crazy but even though you are legit on your knees sweating tired you have to keep going so i think we covered most of like with my experience and what you should take into consideration when you go into nursing number one is um empathy basically the main thing of with nursing is empathy you have to put yourself in their shoes and that's mostly what you're going to be as what your role is when once you step into the hospital second is you have a lot of patience you will deal with a lot of difficult patients, sometimes difficult co-workers, and even difficult medical teams. It always happens in every hospital, in every situation you're in, you will deal with difficult people. You need to lower yourself and understand, lower yourself and think about the priority to, for the benefit of the patient, for the benefit of getting the work done in a good way even if it's like arguing with a doctor not talking to a co-worker or anything and that goes with patients as well there will be a lot of difficult really really sometimes annoying patients but you have to have a really good heart or a really good patience and have an understanding again with empathy so again you need to have empathy and really really good patience third is dedication i'm not kidding you need to be dedicated to this if you choose nursing as your career or something that you will do for the rest of your life understand that this is hard <laughs> The struggle in nursing school is nothing compared to when you're doing it in real life. You will have a hard time in nursing school and it's twice as hard when you're already on your own. Like saying my truth regarding, regarding nursing. I had a difficult time understanding the anatomy and physiology or understanding chemicals, understanding chemistry, biology, everything. And it all relates to the human body. It all relates to the patient. It all relates to your nursing care and your understanding with, with medical terms and terminology. So that is hard enough. And then trying to, and then trying to use that in real life and sometimes even fighting for your understanding with what's going on with your patient again it's it's dedication and all of these three are actually pretty hard to do let alone doing it all at the same time that is being a healthcare worker and it makes sense why and it makes sense why it's difficult because you are dealing with one person's life and that's the most precious thing in the planet our own lives our human body one's life soul and mind is i mean i think it's the biggest challenge we have is taking care of one another or being concerned with one another so i think that's with regards to nursing nursing in um particularly because if you talk about medical team they have different um they have different um goals um in their profession for nursing it's really taking care of patients you're going uh, above and beyond <laughs> this patient you are with them 24 7 you take care with their meds sometimes you give bed bath sometimes you do their vital signs sometimes you assess them how is their day you are basically the person with that patient 24 7 and you basically it's like you're basically meeting and meeting a new friend every day um understanding their story understanding their lives understanding what's going on with themselves and you know you're trying to also be a support system for them so it's a lot it's really a lot it really entails your mind heart and your mind heart and soul and body like i think it's an all-around career and if you really want to do that if you really want to you know give yourself fully to another person be the best person you can be for this patient or if you just want to or just simply even though it's not simple is to take care of a patient then go for it i completely and i have entirely completely i don't know if entirely is a word but i completely believe in you i think that is mostly it i hope you guys like my story with regards to why i chose nursing and i hope you guys had a lot of inspiration 
and ideas with regarding with regards if you ever go to a career in nursing. If you have any comments, if you have any things you want to share with regards to nursing, you can comment down below. I am still not used to like talking to you guys. Um, I'm trying to get back on my feet and start doing YouTube again. So um, stay tuned. I have a little bit of more plans. Um, it's just a lot has been going on. So apologies for that. And I will see you in the next video, guys. Bye.